Hi there, I'm Nico from Qtools, and today I want to introduce our quantum coffer, which is a science kit for quantum physics. Let me just open this up for you. So in here we have displays up here, where you can freely combine different displays, uh, different things you want to see. And uh, down here in the bottom, um, we have all the magical stuff, for example, the photon source and also the detectors and all the electronics that will uh, lead to the results you see on the screen above. Um, so basically what we have here is a source of entangled photons, entangled photon pairs in the bottom. Um, and uh, later on you can get them up here through these holes and make any kind of experiment you might want to do on the top board over here. And you can control everything by using these, uh, this control panel over here. There's a touch screen, a jog dial, and also some buttons. So maybe let's uh, begin by showing you the inside, because for this button cover, we can open everything up. Just remove this, push the button, and you can ha have a look under the hood. So underneath the board, directly underneath it, are all the optical and mechanical parts that uh, constitute the source of the quantum coffer. And down here, there are the electronics. Here's the computer, uh, the main board, and also at the back here, there's the APDs, the single photon detectors that we need to actually register the single photon events um, we want to use in our experiment. So um, for the source part, for the optical part, um, basically, it consists of a very high-powered pump laser at 405 nanometers. Um, we have it uh, fiber-based here and coupled out over there. And then, during the whole process, this high-powered laser is always beneath these orange boxes. So there's no uh, danger whatsoever for your eyes. And um, this high-powered laser is being focused onto a BBO crystal, which is situated here, which is just a non-linear optical crystal. Um, in which the process of spontaneous parametric down conversion can happen. And uh, in this process, one of the pump photons um, is transformed into two down converted photons, into one photon pair. And if you do everything right, then this photon pair will also be entangled. For it to be entangled, we have all the other stuff here. For example, a half wave plate, an eyeball crystal before the BBO, and one behind the BBO. And after that, <coughs> these down converted photons, they will be emitted into a cone. Um, and they will come out here, and then right at the bottom we have two mirrors, um, and from these mirrors the photons will go through other mirrors, over here, over there, and then they would cross the board parallelly in the back, being coupled into these fibers at the end, and those fibers will return to the APDs where we can register the photons. And of course we have the same uh, structure on the other side of the quantum coffer for the other part of the photon pair, for the second photon. All right, so much for that. So how, do we, how are we gonna do experiments with these photons? Let me close it again. For the photons to get on top of the board, we have these periscopes over here. And uh, basically this is just like a periscope in a submarine boat where you can look into it at the bottom and you will see what's on top. And just like this, the photons will be emitted over here. They will be <coughs> mirrored upwards to the board, and then they will actually go across the board over here and going down back again into the detectors. And uh, in this case, I can also show you that I can touch these periscopes, and by touching the one on this side, I can control the source. So let me just switch on the adjustment lasers, which we can now see will pass on top of the board going back into the detector on this side. And the same, of course, for the bottom part. We have an adjustment laser there as well, just to facilitate uh, all the alignment and adjustment procedures you would need for your actual experiment over here. We can switch off the adjustment laser later. And when we switch on the pump laser, the high-powered laser that produces the photon pairs, we will now have the photon pairs in the same spatial modes as uh, the adjustment laser was before. 
So with this, you could, for example, align some mirrors on top and um, align them with a bright light you can actually see and then perform your experiment with the single photons from the down conversion source.